We have been dealing with record-breaking rates of violent crime here in Louisville. And one of the largest initiatives to fight back has been the Gun Violence Initiative. It was started at the end of 2020, creating a collaboration between law enforcement, social service providers, and of course community members to all work together trying to slow rates of violent crime. So where does the project stand today? We want to check in with Metro Councilman Mark Fox, who represents District 13. We've got to start with crime in Louisville. What do you think? Is this strategy working? Are we seeing improvement? We're not. Unfortunately, we're not. I've looked around the country at other cities that have done GVI, which is the Group Violence Initiative, and they sustained a six, uh, 62 percent drop in violent crime in Boston, 42 percent in Stockton, California, and 41 percent right up the river in Cincinnati. Uh, so I am now chairman as of this year of the Public Safety Committee. So I'm going to use that forum to get all the players involved with the GBI into the same room and try to figure out where the disconnect is. You have a number of social service agencies involved. You of course have the LMPD involved. You also have probation and parole the faith community. And the interesting thing about this is it also involves families of prior victims and also perpetrators that have gone to prison, gotten out, and changed their lives and want to impact the youth of the community in a positive way. So when you do these, they're called call-ins in the book. Uh, the book is uh, Hands Up, Don't Shoot. It was written by David Kennedy, who is a uh, criminologist and professor at John Jay College in uh, New York. And the, uh, the program rolled out from there and he uh, wanted to, to just get all these folks involved to offer services on the front end to get people out of a life of crime and out of a life of violence and out of gangs. Uh, that's not a very popular word to say in the city of Louisville. At least it's not been for the past several years. But we do have gangs. We do have gang crime. And this impacts those, those groups, those organized groups, and it dismantles them based on peer pressure uh, from other members of their group. They're given the opportunity to leave that world. And if they take that opportunity, there is a warm and welcoming group of folks to help get them on the right path. If they opt not to, and another gun goes off, another trigger is pulled, then they become the target of local government, state government, federal government, the prosecutions all line up, and that sets the tone for the future of the members of that gang. So Some pretty kind of serious on peer pressure. consequences there. Well, Councilman Fox, you are so knowledgeable about this. We cannot wait to see where you take everything. We're out of time today, so you have to come back and see us because we've got more to talk about. But we want to make sure you keep us updated with exactly how this goes. It is so important, such a big issue facing our city. Thank well, you Well, thanks so a lot. Much. I'd love to, and thank you for having me on. Thank you. We appreciate it.